Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install FreeNAS on VMware Hypervisor ESXi 6.0. First, you will need to download the FreeNAS ISO. The link is in the description box below. Once downloaded, it'll most likely go to the downloads folder. You can run it from here, but in this tutorial, I'll be running it from the data store. If you want to know how to add it to the data store, I have a link in the description box that will help you do that. Now let's go ahead and create our new virtual machine. I'll select typical configuration. I'll rename this to free NAS. I'll select the default data store. If you have multiple data store, make sure to select the proper one. Under guest operating system, I'll select other and from the version drop down, I'll select free BSD. 64 bit, which is required to run the FreeNAS operating system. And here I'll leave the network card default. I'll provision 15 gigabyte uh, thin provision for my operating system, not my storage, and continue. Read the summary and finish. Now Let's edit the uh, FreeNAS virtual machine settings by right clicking, edit settings. Here I'll assign the minimum uh, memory to run FreeNAS which is 8 gigabyte and I'll add a hard drive for storage. To do that click on add, hard disk, create a new hard disk in here I'll assign 100 gigabyte thin provision again I can assign as many hard drive as I want but since this is on a VM I'll just create one leave everything else default and finish now I have 8 gigabyte of RAM and a new 100 gigabyte of storage space now I'll select it and launch the console here now run the VM and immediately click on the little disk icon and from the drop down select connect to ISO image on a data store now browse and select the ISO from the data store if you want to know how to add an ISO to the data store I have a link in the description box now click on VM guest and send a control alt delete to boot from that ISO you downloaded here press enter to start the uh, installation process using the arrow keys on your keyboard make sure to select install and or upgrade and press enter here make sure to select the virtual hard drive you created for the operating system not the storage by pressing on the spacebar this case is a 15 gig press the spacebar and press enter read this carefully, select yes, continue create a root password press enter, when you're done okay, uh, the free NAS installation has succeeded, please reboot and remove the installation media press enter, and here using the arrow keys select number 3 to reboot system if you want to remove the ISO, just click on the disk icon and select disconnect from data store image. Now here press enter or just let it run. Once it finishes all this, you'll get the IP address. If not, like me, you can press on um, the number 1, enter, and then Q to quit and it'll give you the IP address if it doesn't give it to you immediately. In this case it's 10.0.0.24 so what we're gonna do is on a client machine from the same network add that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address given by the installation of FreeNAS. You'll be prompted to enter the username and password which is root and the password you created when you installed FreeNAS. 
the initial wizard will come up here. I'm going to exit out and we have successfully installed FreeNAS on the uh, hypervisor ESXi. From here we can do a simple volume share which is the 100 gigabyte I assign for storage. All you need to do is just expand storage, volumes, and select volume manager. Here, name the volume. In this case, I'll select avoid errors. And I'll, I'll just drag this little circle here to the right. And in my case, I'll only select one because I only have one hard drive. Now, if I would have two hard drive, it'll select a mirror type uh, system for backup and if I had three or more it'll create a RAID system. Now I only have one hard drive so my total volume size is 100 gigs and click on add volume. Now under volumes you'll see this mount and the name of the volumes. Expand that and select change permissions. Here, make sure under group and other to select write and then click on change. Done. Now expand sharing. My home consists of mostly Windows computer, so I'll expand Windows shares, add Windows share. Here, to the right of path, click on browse and browse for that volume we created earlier. Now I am going to use this for my house but I'm not going to check mark home shares. Now I am going to add a name. In this case I'll select free NAS but you can name it as you wish and I'll allow guest access. This means anybody in my network without a password can access the information on that volume. I'll click OK and would you like to enable uh, the service? Yes. Once the service has been enabled you can access that uh, volume we created and add or remove any documents you want to back up or store there. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. Hey, watch me upgrade to Windows 10 without losing any data. Just click on the thumbnail on the screen. If you want to watch more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.